Hey guys, so in the last video I mentioned we we're gonna do fine length of string, but what's better for you guys is if we do another problem that's pretty similar, so you guys can test out your own skills as well, just in case you got stuck on the even number problem, right? So let's see if you can write code that can give you an answer for the, uh, if it's the number is odd, okay? So this problem is called check for odd numbers, all right? So here I have write a function is odd that takes in a number and returns true if it's odd, otherwise false. So it's pretty much the opposite of finding an even number solution. So with the even number problem, if I gave you two, it should return false, right? Um, or I'm sorry, it should return true. But for the, whoops, <laughs> it's all really loud. So, same thing should happen for this one, except when I give you three, it should say true, otherwise false. Now I'm gonna go over the solution to this problem. Just in case you haven't tried this on your own, the link is below to the problem and to the solution. So if you're on watching this on YouTube, go ahead and try it on your own. If you're on my website, cleverprogrammer.com, everything should be a-okay anyways then. So let's get started. I have some function, it's called is odd. That's the first step to get correct. And you can check how it works here at the bottom. So again, you can just go ahead and kind of cheat. You see the function is called odd, it takes in one input. So you can kind of go like, okay, is odd, hmm, my input is uh, some number. And what can I do if that number, what does it mean for a number to be odd, right? What does it mean for a number to be an odd number? Well, all it means is that it's not divisible by two. Right, so for example, if I gave you 12, right, <clears throat> is it divisible by two? Yes, it is, you get back true. But if what if I give you 13, is that divisible by two? No, because two goes all up to 12 and then there's a one spillover or remainder. So here you have false, but we just wanna flip the results, it, meaning this should give you false and this should give you true for the solution to this problem. So let's go, if number, divisible by two is not equal to zero, then I want to say, give me true. Otherwise, give me false. Okay, let's check if this solution works. So I'm gonna uncomment this part and let's go and run it. And it says your code is correct, so that's good. Uh, let's try giving it, you know, is odd. Let's try giving it three. It says true, and what if I give it two? It should say false. Okay, cool. And now, if you wanna try the bonus challenge on your own, pause the video, go try it. Otherwise, I'm gonna go over the answer right now. So here's the bonus way of doing it. Um, return number divisible by, or mod two does not give you the remainder of zero, okay? So it's like the opposite of the even number function. So there you go, that's your one-liner, right? Your cheeky one-liner. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.